just as I thought. You two make such a nice couple. Hey guys and gals, I'm Paladin, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, we defeated Gygus, the Universal Cosmic Destroyer, and we restored peace to the past and the present. And this episode, now that the end game is here, or rather, it's not the end game, it's the after game, I would like to walk around the world. This is what the last episode is going to be. I'm going to be traveling throughout the world, cutting around, talking to people. Since most of the dialogue for most of the NPCs in the game that are, I'm not going to say essential, but some of the non, like, shopkeeper dialogue has been rewritten, and a lot of things have changed now that Gygus is gone. Uh, and it all starts with me talking to this guy, because he has one of my favorite lines in the entire game, but this is not an after-game thing. He says this normally, but I just never talked to him, or he didn't say this, and so I was not able to point out one of my favorite uh, notes of dialogue in the game. Kidnapping is wrong! I'll be careful not to kidnap anyone. I'm sorry, that always just struck me as as comical, because he's acting like you could kidnap someone by accident, and that's just funny. So I'm going to be talking to the people who actually have different dialogue, uh, so I'm not going, just going to be stumbling around finding people with the same dialogue, and then just kind of doing hit and miss. I will only show in this episode the people with new dialogue, or stuff that we have never seen before. He's smiling. So, to start out this episode, I would like to drop Paula off, actually, because I want to get the bike, because I never got the bike, and also, Paula did want us to es uh, escort her home, so I think I should do that. But first, I want to point something out that I noticed uh, in editing, when I was editing last episode. <sighs> I noticed that Gygus kept insta-killing Paula with flash attacks, and I was wondering why, because she had the C pendant. But I also realized that I never... <laughs> I never equipped the C pendant. Um, yeah, let's let's actually do that now, just before we drop Paula off. Because even though, once we do this, she'll be gone forever, um, and we won't be able to get her again. So I just want to give her a parting gift. Let's go. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. There is chemistry there. There is. There is something there that both of them feel, but they don't know what it is yet. Uh, I believe Ness is only 13. I'm pretty sure he's 13. And so he's a little bit too young to feel such things yet, but... Or know what he's feeling, but pretty soon, he'll know. You've lost some weight since I, la since I saw you last, Ness. Paula must have had quite an adventure. I'm glad, I'm glad you live so close to us. Why don't you drop by more often? I'm working at making better steak. I think I just might do that. So one thing that I find kind of problematic about the endgame is that this music will play no matter where you are. Uh, there are a couple exceptions, like the uh, gaming quarter in Onet, but it will play everywhere, and so I'm probably actually going to be phasing some of it out with either other Earthbound music or something else. You're a very strong young man. My opinion of you has changed. Perhaps you should continue dating- Ho ho ho! Dating Paula. Just treat her right. Come by and visit any time. You can even sleep on the living room couch instead of the one in the den. That's- that's awesome. That's- that's really cute, actually. I, I actually want to see if I can talk to Paula. Meow. There she is. Ness, I guess it's time for you to go home. Everyone is probably worried about you. Yeah... You know what, Paula? <laughs> There's a reason why I'm leaving you behind. It's because I want to explore and be my own man. Okay, let's leave this place, get a bicycle, and then go traveling throughout uh, the each of the towns in the game. I can't actually look at them now. But I would like to travel through all the towns and then end it off by showing Glitch. So, let's start. This is the Cycle Shop Puncture. Ha, <laughs> that's, that's a good pun. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll probably you'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Sure. Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Yes, I do. I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Ness got the bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle. So of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. 
I wouldn't dream of it. That would just be, like, wrong. <laughs> I would never ride a bike in a cave. Okay, uh, can... Is it hotkey? No, it's not. That's a shame. Okay, so goods. Bicycle use. Ness rode a bicycle. Now, I have... I cannot stop while riding a bicycle. And this music, which is awesome, plays. So I get to ride a bicycle, ride it around, and get some new animations. And Ness smiles for the first... First time? Yeah, I think the first time in the adventure, he has a, a full-fledged smile on his face. So, like I said, I don't want to burn time, so let's just talk to people. This town feels so much more peaceful and safe. Okay, you, sir, stop. Right there. Pull over. Eep! I always see you walking around. Walking is good for your health. Thank you. It took me so a long time to catch you. Actually, it didn't. Okay, what about you, sir? Down here, next to the theater that is empty now. Didn't I see you at the Topella Theater in Forside? So you're a Runway 5 groupie, too. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Also, this is false advertising because they are gone. We will be closed for a short period. Thank you for your many years of support. Mr. Poochifud, manager, Chaos Theater. The Orange Kid is deep into a world-class invention. It must be hard being an ultra genius. Well, let's see what he has to say, because he did not go on this grand adventure. He missed out because he's <laughs> orange and stuff. He's the, the color of caution. Well, you never invested in my genius, did you? You had no idea of what I could do. Chortle. You sorry, loser. <laughs> he has a speech impediment now. It developed over the short time of this adventure, like the month and a half. So he's kind of lame, actually. He has this smug grin on his face, and Ness is not impressed. Just like he's not impressed by anything but riding a bike. Hello, woman. Or man, I cannot tell. In this town, you're famous. I, I heard you asked Tucson girl out on a date. What's her name? You know, you have one of those baby faces that really attracts the girls. You lucky boy. Aw. Ness got a compliment. And he doesn't care because he's going to ride a bike. You look like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You better be careful. Good morning. Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headlines in the Onet Times. Onet police chief finishes Earthbound, asks, where's the sequel? It's coming, man. It's coming. Can you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum on me as I was passing by. In Pokey's house, there are new people. Salutations! You're the boy living next door. I heard that your family isn't dead. Mrs. Minch told me about it. Well, live and learn. You just have to keep plugging away. Who is that man? Who is he? As usual, you're wearing your grubbies. So, what do you want? My son isn't at home now. He's walking around somewhere. My husband is also gone. Oh, yes, this is Mr. Pretty Man. He always has great advice. He's a real gentleman, he is. You'll be happy that you met him. Okay, so... Her husband, Aloysius, Mi Aloysius Minch, he is gone, and there's a new man in the house. Interesting. I haven't seen you in a while. You look cool. I'm no nowhere near as cool as you. I'm just average cool. Aw. Frank's not in the arcade. He's in the hamburger shop, smiling away. Really? Well, let's go see him. And you have nothing to say, you old... Woman who's behind the times. I saved the world. Don't talk to me about unconsciousness. I'll, I'll show you what unconsciousness feels like. Okay, let's go to the burger shop before I make an even more bigger embarrassment of myself and see Frank, because he's now here. In fact, there he is, behind the, sh the counter. Hello, sir. How may I help you? Uh, aren't you Ness? After our battle, I became serious and have been working very hard. I, I've even been doing some training for, for, well... A little bit of pro wrestling. It's the ring for me, baby. So you made it back alive. You must have many stories to tell. Let's get back. Let's get together for a drink when you have the chance, so I can hear you sh hear your stories. I'm talking about drinking mineral water. I'm still underage, you know. Looks kind. He kind of looks like he's 30, but I guess that's. <laughs> I guess that's because he smokes. It seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. I'm much more relaxed here. They never ask me. Would you like fries with that shake? And they say nothing else. Okay. Hooray! The sharks are gone from the arcade. Now I can go in, except I don't have any money to play the games. Now we're in Happy Happy Village, which has kept its name because these people are happy that they're no longer happy happy. Finally, I have a chance to apologize. 
I forgive you. Thanks, ahead of time. So, we're going to be seeing what is different here. I'm actually pretty interested, because like I said, I've never done the after game before, so... Oh, there's, there's Carpenter, but we'll get to him in a second. Hi, I'm fine. You look fine also. Okay, get out of the way, I want to go inside. Get out, okay, fine. I'll leave you alone for now. Well, there's the cow, but then there's Carpenter. Hey, Ness, it's been a long time. Since we last met, the whole town has woken up. The best happiness comes from being free. You kids made me realize that. Good for you, man. And you're probably ha also happy to know that the Mani Mani statue's no more. Wow, it's been a long time. Your cap. Do you ever wash it? Yeah, it's probably dirty by now. I mean, although I am kind of wearing... What am I wearing right now? Oh, I'm wearing nothing on my head. I'm wearing a coin on my head somehow. Okay, let's talk to this guy, the shy guy guy. Thanks, ahead of time. You guys remember when I hit herded him all the way over here and he, like, despawned or something? That was pretty cool. Alright, let's see who else has to say stuff. You, sir! You're my next candidate for my survey. Thanks, ahead of time. So many people are saying that. What are they thanking me for? Huh, I don't know. Hey, long time no see. You're a friend of the famous Runaway 5. Yes, I am, and you look like you could play in the Runaway 5. The happy, happy religious group is broken up. This building is temporarily closed while we remove the paint, the, the blue markers from the walls. I, should, I shouldn't be so desperate to chase after happiness. In a different way than before, Mr. Carpenter has become a very good man. Good to know. Very good to know. It's good to see that the world is is getting back on their feet. I heard many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call the, that place Lilliput Steps, and it makes them feel uneasy. Interesting. Interesting. We all, we've all we heard this before. What was the anti-blue place like? Was it scary? Mm, not really. You seem to thrive in places like that. What happens if we say yes? It, did you see a huge mole like I, I've heard lives down there? Yeah, we did. We did indeed. I'm so glad you wiped out the zombies. Let me give you a kiss. Smooch. Tee <laughs> I'm blushing. Visit 3 again. I will. I, I am right now. Nest dug around the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a skip sandwich to tide, but he's got too much stuff already. And forget the skip sandwich, I have a bike. After the buses started running again, I decided to come see my boyfriend. I really shouldn't have, though. Whoa, dude! Like, my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. I'm totally bummed, because I have another girlfriend here in Threed. <laughs> Check him out. I think he's the bee's knees. I mean, he's way cool. He used to be in a band. This town used to be dark, but thanks to you, now it's bright. We won because of our brains, guts, and togetherness. Wow, what a rush. Oh boy, you're probably gonna say something lame. I thought there was something more to you than just your smile. I knew it! Why do I talk to grandmas? They always get me down! The town is at peace, but my wife and kids won't speak to me. What's the problem? Since the tunnel was cleared, many cars have started driving through it. It's incredibly noisy. It became a, it became really yeah, it became really quite peaceful compared to before. Actually, I'm kind of glad I got to see real zombies. I didn't like fighting the zombies, but those days were never dull. You made our lives peaceful. I can sleep again. It's like you used a bunch of peace paper, right? <laughs> And we can't talk to the zombies, unfortunately. I think new things. Different things from now. Happy boing. More happy ding ding. Must have happy boo-boos. Ha big, big happy zoom. Eureka ding. I wish fall in love. We make new thing. Must make baddie boing. You boys are young, but you did a great job here and out there. One of the more interesting things to find is in Jackie's cafe, we'll find Pokey's dad, Alo Aloysius Minch? We hic- Ness. Pokey left me, his own dad, and just disappeared. 
Do you see him? Tell him that he should take better care of his father. Don't tell my wife and Annette that I'm spending my time here. Pick we. Huh. So it seems that Pokey split up his entire family. Good evening, hero. How about an espresso? So now we're recognized by our by being heroes. Sorry about the other day. This sidewalk cafe isn't as profitable as it used to be. This is just a hangout for the regulars. Hey, long time no see. I thought of a new joke since before. Knock knock. Who's there? Sawyer. Sawyer who? Sawyer ain't doing well. I'm fine too. I don't get it. Wahaha. You don't think it's funny? I really thought this would be funny to you. Now my old my self-confidence is totally shot. Back to therapy. You want a good joke? I just came up with one actually the other day. Um, was the Bible was written 30 years ago, right? I mean, it was written in the 80s. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I came up with that the other day. The hint that I gave you was critical to helping you win. Happy, happy. We rock. Ha ha ha! You've been exceedingly patient. You've overcome many hardships. I praise all of you for your courage. Thank you, Talarama. And yes, I did go all the way back through the monkey caves just to talk to this person in the hopes that his dialogue would have changed and I was rewarded with the affirmative. So, how have you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm riding circles around you. Now I'm not. Hick, I'm fine. Hick, I'm not drinking the hick. I hate these hiccups. Yes, they are. Hick, another cappuccino here. You seem a little bit lost. Shouldn't you be in Jackie's cafe? Maybe not, because there's a look like of you there. Another big change is that Geldegard Monatoli is no longer the owner of this building. Oh, Ness. I'm Geldegard Monatoli. Don't you remember me? I returned this building to Mr. Enrich Flavor. Now I'm working as an elevator man. I'm very happy, and it's good to be alive. I heard of your many successes. Wonderful. Venus. She's become even more beautiful. I heard they couldn't find the buried gold. Those guys worked very hard, but all they got was a diamond. Yeah, who cares about diamonds? Sheesh. My grandpa told me that everyone has at least one outstanding skill. When I look at you, I know he's right. Aww, so nice. Thank you. Ah, Ness. My husband has been returning home late these days. He says he's busy. Yeah! I know he's out saving the earth, but marriage is also important. Jeff doesn't call me. Maybe he thinks I'm too annoying, but I don't think so. Ness, did you tell him not to call me? No, I know you wouldn't do that. If you see Jeff, please, please ask him to call Tony. Thanks. Jeff just called. He's with Dr. Andonitz. The two of them may be able to develop a new scientific theory. You've helped to make it a better life for everyone. Yeah, that's what I do. In the monkey community, Ness is famous. You're such a great man. Tessie appeared again today and smiled at me. I wonder what Tessie thinks of me. I can't believe I was so brave. I'm so glad I finally saw it. I'm so happy it brings tears to my eyes and makes my nose run. Boo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Snort. Boo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> I waited for you. I'm glad to see you again. You're back, Sebastian. I just love making haiku. The sky's blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high, it'll make your face turn blue. That's Summers. Thank you again, Poke... Uh, Mr. Ness. Welcome to Le Hotel de Summers. My name is uh, Roshata Richmond, and I am the assistant manager. I am sorry, sir, but I'm afraid that we do not have any reservation under your name. However, we can offer you a room at 1.50 a night. Would you be interested in the room? Excellent choice, sir. We hope you appreciate our wonderful ocean view. Ah, sir. Have you all? Are, are you already on your way to the beach? Here's this. Here is the look at the morning headlines from. Hey, this guy's English isn't that well. Isn't that good? Uh, from the Daily Summers. Yesterday was the same as the day before yesterday. Today will be the same as yesterday. 
Don't get too excited about the sound, it's a tourist trap. Everyone seems to be nice, but they're just doing it for the money. I know from experience. I can't believe you pronounce hotel as hotel. In this in this country, hotel is pronounced otel. What? So then in your country, it, uh, author is pronounced as hotter? How, how should I know these things? Man, this place is fancy. Goodness gracious, it's huge! Never been in here. Literally, I've never been here. Forget about the enter the adventure. Come back again. This is this is really cool. Excuse me. You're excused. I'm sorry. This is now a truck stop. Absolutely no miners admitted. The management, the lazy cowpoke stop and go. It's no longer club club stoic, even though it still says that above the door. It is now a trucker's meet and greet. Are you from Eagle Land? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scrava from Toto, the port town. Don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh! She's... You get it? Because her hair color... You know what? No, I'll, I'll stop that there. <laughs> Only a tanning pro like me is able to get the actual sun down on the palms of his hands. I'm a mighty sailor man. I'm a mighty sailor man, a mountain man I'm not. The open sea is home for me and the mountains aren't worth snot. I'm writing a song for- <gasps> Dude! Dude, dude, dude! I just read this, but okay. This will make so much more sense if I give it the tune. Oh my goodness, that's so cool! Okay, listen to the tune I do for this. It works perfectly. I'm a mighty- I'm a mighty sailor man, a mountain man I'm not. The open sea is home for me and mountains aren't worth snot. I'm writing a song for sna sailors and it fits the Gilligan's Island tune. That's probably not intentional, but it works perfectly and it makes sense. And this cat I probably still can't talk to. Psst, psst. Yeah, I can't talk to it. Well, I can, but it's just like talking to any normal cat. Compared to the olden days, this boat ride is like being on a luxury liner. Do you want another ride? I'll give you a ride if you want, since you destroyed the Kraken. Twenty bucks per person is fine with me. No, thank you. I understand. Stay here and shiver in fear for your future. Ha ha ha! I stayed here the whole time you were gone. But now I don't know why I did. A good night's rest in Skaraba. I've traveled all the way over here, and I am showing this because this is yet one of the other things that is now different. Uh, where is he? Is it this guy? Good morning, good sir. Please allow you allow me to read you from the local newspaper, the Skaraba Paperus. Terrible sound, uh, terrible sound recently heard. Possibly the sound of evil being destroyed beyond our time and space. Well, there is news to hear about. That's just pretty cool. It, it talks about the defeat of Gygas, though it's unsure whether it's us. Although, there are a lot of people around the world that do know it's us, so I guess the Scrub of Papers isn't that good of a newspaper. Now, I believe there's... I, I have not mentioned this, but the enemies are actually gone now. I can free roam here. I can't get level ups because there are no more enemies to be had. Not even the criminal caterpillars will show themselves. So I can assume, well actually, all of these enemies were made evil by Gygus, so it only makes sense that they would be gone when Gygus is. I don't know how, but my homemade dungeon helped you out. I'm glad. It's cool that Dungeon Man actually says something different now that Gygus is defeated. Or maybe he just says it after we've already cleared out some areas, but it's new, and that's pretty cool. You returned from exploring the deep darkness? I cannot believe you made it back alive. It's pretty cool because that dialogue was there just for us- oh wait. Oh. <laughs> Ah, I just traveled all the way through Dungeon Man to get to the other side where I could just walk around. Ah, I'm stupid, but I'm glad I recorded that. That's funny. That's a gem. Speaking of the deep darkness, uh, let's go to Talam. I'm a little embarrassed to say it, but I'll tell you anyway. I thought philosophy was the study of stones. I now realize it's about studying all night. What? It's not? My entire life has been a lie. I've been had. Prince Pooh has returned, so everyone is extremely happy. Please stay and relax. 
Thank you, I will. I'm glad to see that everyone's hospitable, and Pooh's probably changing his country for the best. Uh, we'll talk to him in a second. I would like to talk to his underseers first. We understand that you've experienced hardship in the past. No one can fight the evil entity except you. We are proud. We are happy. As I thought, the prophecy foretold of our only chance for success. Please enjoy the life ahead of you as a regular boy. And now, Pooh, you're here! We have little, but stay and rest for a while. But I'm impressed. You did so well for one who hasn't had much training. Very well, and you did well too. I really wish I could go throughout the uh, the world, talk to the per to the different party members, and have them come to my group at least for a while, like until I could stay at a hotel. But maybe in Mother Four, which I'll be playing. Prince Pooh has good relationships with foreigners. What an international person! Prince Pooh is so cool, but he you're also young and tough. Uh huh. So it seems like the. The women here are really into the guys, like, well, I mean, that's that's natural, I'm saying there, there's nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying, like, Pooh seems to be the only eligible guy, so whenever someone else is eligible, they're immediately all over them. It's just kind of, I don't know, it's really strange, it's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like Pooh ate all the eligible guys, so he'd have Monopoly. I wonder if Prince Pooh succeeded in Moo training. I wanted him to come by and show me his best barnyard impression. <laughs> ah, that's good. I'm waiting for Prince Pooh to see me and say, I love you. Ah, oh, yeah, there, there is no love interest for anyone other than Ness, so that's kind of interesting. Do you have the monkey's love? No, I don't. I do not have the monkey's love on me, though I still have the item. So, here in Deep Darkness, this guy will glitch for a moment there, but also, I can use the bicycle, which is pretty interesting. And as I'm on my way to the Tenda tribe, I can show you... Wait. Oh, that's awesome! It makes... Oh, that's cool. L okay, I'm gonna turn it up for a moment. Like, a, a lot, so be careful. But listen, the bike makes this different noises when I'm in different surfaces. Listen. And now, listen to this. That's really cool! Like, the details. Wait, is that an enemy? Is that an enemy? Is that... What is this? Shh, be quiet. I look very important, but I'm re not really. I'm a cash dispenser man. If you want to withdraw cash, I'll charge you a handling fee, which is the same amount as your withdrawal. Oh, cool. That's that's awesome. Okay, I didn't know that he was here. So, besides using teleport alpha, which was really cool, I can now use the bike and just travel through this at normal speeds. So, I'm able to just whiz right through here. And in fact, I'm showing this just because it's so cool. Like, I'm cutting off an entire episode's worth of travel in a minute or two the wrong way. Like, I can take wrong ways, and it's fine. Although, I did really like the idea of taking Teleport Alpha through here. It is still pretty cool. Look at this. Like, a minute or two of me just riding the bike, and I'm already at the end of the Deep Darkness, which is really cool. Like, look, look at this. I'm here. Now, granted, there are no more enemies in the entire world, but still, that, that took no time at all. Now, I'm in the Deep Darkness so that I might be able to go to the Tenda village, because there are a couple things I can do here now. Hi, smile. There are different things, uh, like the Book of Overcoming Shyness. We can actually get this back. Welcome to this far take a rest. Long journey. Must have been. Yes, it was. It's been in the, an entire episode, me going through the entire world. I'm a woman. Do you think I was a man? Now, I've been told that there's dialogue rewritten for these people, but uh, in order for me to do some of that, I need to get rid of an item. Ah, snap. The book Overcoming Shyness was very helpful to us. We kept it for a long time, but I'll return it now. Thank you very much. Now, fun fact, we can actually return that book of Overcoming Shyness to the Onnet Library, and we get something for it, apparently. We're living in peace now, in a wide variety of lifestyles. Thank you very much. You are very welcome, sir. Hi, how are you today? Oh, you're not feeling well? Be healthy. I am healthy, thank you. So after overcoming Magikent, we can actually come back here and talk to this rock, but I'm choosing the after game to take that opportunity. I don't need words anymore. I'll turn back into a simple rock. And that's what he says, and now... He won't say anything else. His purpose is done! So, as I wrap up this Let's Play, 
I really don't know what else to say. I've talked about my thoughts of the game multiple times now, and that's why I haven't had much monologuing or commentary this episode. I've just been talking to people, because this has been my opportunity to explore that which I have not been able to before. So I'm going to be doing that, I mean, that's what I've been doing now. Okay, let's talk to this guy. I'm kind of interested. Ness, that rocks! Yesterday, I finally became a hideout member. Please come back and visit. In fact, you know what? Let's let's stop and talk to these people. Just go up here. Yeah, okay, so I just go in here. Ness, I've been thinking about our gang's name. It's, we'll laugh about it tomorrow. Do you like it? Um, kind of long, but you could probably abbreviate it. My philosophy is peace to all men. Really? You like it? I knew you would understand. You, you seem like, you seem to be gaining self-confidence or something. During your trip, were you popular everywhere you went? I'm jealous. I wish I was popular like you. Hi, Ness. It's starting to get crowded in this hideout. I was considering moving to Beaks Point. What do you think? Uh, that's kind of my house, so no. You're right. The spa this space might just be the, uh, ju yeah, it might just be the right size for us. So there are actually only a couple things I would like to do in this last final episode, which is cool because I have a tendency to draw episodes out, and I actually think this episode is going to be pretty short, um, but I just want to do a couple more things. If she's in a good mood, the lady at the library will kiss you. Uh, okay, um, let's see if she's in a good mood here. Ness has already gotten a kiss of once this episode, so I guess, hi, please return your book Overcoming Shyness later. Uh, can I do it now? Finally, you've come to return the book. Seems like you finished it. You're such a good boy. As a reward, I'll give you a kiss. Smack. Oh man, Ness has gotten so many kisses throughout this adventure. Like, he got it from Venus. Not sure if he's gotten it from Paula. He got it from so many people. Hi, nice to meet you. I'd really love to sit down and chat. I'd really love to ch sit down and chat with you someday. I'll talk about my adventure, and you can tell me all about your some of your mistakes. Uh, we're talking to you. Okay, let's talk to the old man talked about his wife being a monster. At Giant Sip, there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Sip its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. So, he is... He has nothing else to say. Alright, there's one last place where I would like to go. In the spirit of seeing... Of going back to our roots, let's go back to where we met the man that discovered the Mani Mani statue. We're going to go see Liar Exaggerate. But yeah, I really don't know what else to say. This is this is a good finale in that I get to see and uh, I get to see some dialogue that I've never seen before, but it's also just kind of strange for me because I've mentioned my thoughts on the game countless times before. It's a fantastic title if I if I want to reiterate them. It's a fantastic title and you should definitely get it. But other than that, I have no more praise left for this. The fact that they that they wrote an after game is just genius, um, in and of itself. But like, I don't know what else to say. It just seems so complete. It the let's play seems so wrapped up that this point that at this point it's just me recording uh some last last bit of content so I can finally find some closure for this let's play. Many times there's. Like with uh, Okami, there was stuff that I could just keep showing. I probably could have continued the episodes doing random stuff, but it w would have gotten repetitive after a certain point. Skyward Sword, same way. In fact, the bonus episodes there were extremely repetitive, as I did two modes again, and I, I the only new thing was the glitches. But with this, I think it's a good wrap-up. It gives us all some closure, as you guys get to see that I am leaving nothing. I'm, le I'm leaving no loose ends and no stone unturned. You're being vain, Ness. Life is not that easy. You just saved the Earth from a crisis. Don't act so stuck up. When I was younger, I too saved the Earth many times. I live a modest life. That's the way it should be. Don't you think that a real hero is someone like me? Um... You know what? No. Because this man was the one who lost the Mani Mani statue. He caused so much chaos, and it wasn't ju it wasn't Gygus's doing. It was his doing for setting the Mani Mani statue free. So if he's truly as heroic as he said, he would have saved the world from the Mani Mani statue. Ness, don't be such a snob. Okay, what happens if we say yes? I'm just kind of interested in what he has to say. Uh, sure. 
When you grow up, why don't you try to become my partner and we'll make lots of money. Yeah, that's not what heroes do. Heroes save the world not for money, not for fame. They save it because they have a, a foothold in, in this world. There's something there for them to save. And they're not doing it for themselves. In fact, they would lay their lives down on the line. But... They're, do, they're laying their lives on the line so that others don't have to. Now, before we move on to the final glitch, and thus the final segment of this Let's Play, I would like to stop and appreciate another glitch. I've made note of the Rock Candy glitch a couple of times now. In fact, I've utilized it in the form of the Magic Truffle, which restores 80 PP, and I can use it infinitely in battle because of the ketchup packets. Well, not, infin not infinitely. Just as many times as I have ketchup packets, and it will not go away. But this originated as the Rock Candy glitch, and thus it is named that. And I would like to show it off here, even though I've kind of already been showing it off the entire Let's Play. Uh, if you have the Rock Candy, which is an item that increases one stat at random, and you have sugar packets in your inventory, when you use the Rock Candy in battle, as long as it is the uh, final item in your inventory, it will, be c it will not be consumed, but it will be used and a sugar packet will be consumed. And because of this, you can essentially increase all of your stats up to maximum. Except, there is a maximum for these stats. It is not 999. It is 255. Which, just as a side note, and a very odd coincidence that took me aback, uh, the, the cap for stats, 255, is the same cap for stacking abilities in League of Legends. 255 is also the cap in that. I don't get why. Maybe it's some programming thing, but it's just kind of, it's an odd coincidence that it would be two caps in the same, the same type of thing. And in fact, uh, Ness's offense is almost at the cap itself, so that's kind of cool. But I'm going to be showing that off right now. So I just showed off the stats, and now let's get into a battle with an Emony. Uh, preferably not that Zap Eel, because he has attacks. Can he go away? Can he please go away? Uh, let's just do it. Do it! Make your dreams come true! First, I'd like to get rid of the Zap Eel. I think two two bash attacks should be enough to do that. I don't want to axe do. I don't want to accidentally kill the Hard Crocodile. Okay, he's doing some damage. I'll just have Ness do some, some life up Omegas here, just to keep the group healthy. Now, Paula. If she uses the Rock Candy, she will use it. On, let's just do it on herself and have the rest of the party defend. And once she uses it, the rock candy will be used, but it will not be consumed, which is pretty cool. It's also kind of strange that its uh, its special its special condiment is sugar, and rock candy is just sugar, and that's just kind of strange. So we can just keep doing this to increase our stats at random. I think that was our speed that increased there, and if we do it again, it will level up something else, which is, it's just really neat. It's a cool glitch um, that allows you to basically level up er um, earlier than you're supposed to, so you can get up to crazy high levels. However, I did mention that there is a cap to stats, but it's not actually a real cap, because if that stat would be increased past the cap, it will reset back to zero. Yeah. So there is a drawback to this glitch, and it's very dangerous if this happens. If, say, your defense gets reduced to zero, then that means the weakest of enemies will one-shot you, which is kind of stupid. Uh, so be careful with this. Usually I would just use it to give basically like, when I get Paula for the first time, I would basically give her a mini level up by increasing her stats up to a respectable level, but not so high that once she gets up to level 80, they won't reset back to zero. So something like that, just as a kind of mini boost, it's kind of nice. And yeah, that is the glitch. Now before I end this let's play, I would like to make note of a hero. When I say hero, I'm not talking about Ness, Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. I'm talking about a real-life person who has done a lot. He's taken great lengths to making a lot of people happy. The community of Nintendo and the company itself. Satoru Iwata, the longtime CEO and president of Nintendo, recently passed away on Saturday, July 11th, 2015. And I'm making note of this in this episode instead of something like Twitter because, well, first of all, that would be kind of, it's kind of insensitive just to make a random comment about it. I would like to respect Satoru Iwata here because he worked on this game before he was CEO of Nintendo, which he became in 2002. 
He was the he worked for uh, HAL Laboratories, which worked on this game and many others, the Kirby series, uh, Balloon Fight, and many many others. And he was the lead programmer of this game, or the program bleh, programming director. And I would like to honor him by saying he will not be missed. He's made many people very happy, and his efforts, his his goals and dreams will not go unrecognized by many. He will be rem remembered for many years to come. Now, on a happy note, because his life was a very happy thing, let's move on to the last glitch, and thus the end of a Let's Play. Here we are, in Summers, where, ironically, this series is going to be ended off. It's been a great Let's Play. I have enjoyed it immensely, and I, oh, I'm hyped for the next Let's Play because, just like with Pikmin 1, it, the next Let's Play will be a game that I grew up on. Like, literally, I grew up on this game. This was, it's a fantastic game and I can't wait to play it, and I'm playing it with the person who grew up on it with me. Get it? On it? <laughs> but it's, it's a fantastic game, and I can't wait to play it. But, to end off the series, I would like to show a glitch after I talk to this guy. If you're bored, go check out the Scrava Cultural Museum, maybe helpful to you. They have a hieroglyph from the pyramid. So we're going to be doing that. We're going inside the museum to show off the glitch that I set out, I believe, on episode like 25 or something. So let's go inside. And this episode has been very simple. It really has. There's nothing gigantic to it, um, and it's just been... An episode to give me closure. You have a good reputation. Wouldn't you like to focus your hard working energy in the exciting field of archaeology? Uh, no, not really. But I want to talk to this buzz cut dude. It's nice seeing you in such good shape. I wonder what Porky's Pokey's doing. Uh, okay, whatever that means. Yeah, that's the boy I met before. So, there's actually a lot of talk of Pokey right now. And it's ironic since we haven't seen him. He did give us that one last message, but otherwise we haven't seen him. But this is where the glitch comes in and where I will be closing out the series. <sighs> when I was last here, we defeated one Shattered Man. And though the enemies are gone from the rest of the game, if you only get away with defeating one of these guys, the other one will remain. It was an oversight on the developer's part, and I will get to fight him. Excellent. Do you feel like you're, you're really experiencing this great historical period? The experience is more valuable than a small gem. Ha ha ha. The other day, a rich kid came to Summers by helicopter. He also took a picture of the hieroglyphs. I got lots of money from him. <laughs> Alright, let's encounter the glitch. Shattered Man attacked. Now, we can kill him, and I believe it freezes the game. Or, we can die to him, and it will kill us. So, that's what I want to do. Um, Let's just use the ATM card because I don't want to defend. I want him to do full damage, like 91. That's that's good damage. So I'll just do this. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me I can make the next episode so that you would like it. As the Shattered Man does one damage to me, I... I've talked about it already, this, le this episode. And this episode is probably really short because I've been cutting around. But there's nothing else I really need to say about the game. It's fantastic. But the only thing I can... I can really say about the series is that I cannot wait to play Mother One, and it's going to be it's going to be pretty fun because I'm go I have not played that game either, and I'm going to be going through all of the Mother games with kind in kind of a, a new light uh, because this game or this Let's Play has made me a big fan of the series. Okay, can you please kill me sometime? So yeah, this has been a good episode, a good Let's Play. I'm a fan of it, and what better way? to end off a series than glitching it and hopefully this guy will will kill me soon because if we get killed by him something special will happen one thing i'm kind of surprised of is that this glitch was not fixed in this version of the game this is the wii u version there's proof uh, and yet they didn't decide to fix it and it's one of the the only it's actually to my knowledge it's the only major glitch in the game i've seen speedruns that they do not abuse abuse any glitches that I have seen because there aren't that many to abuse the the most the most glitches we have found have been menu glitches where like um, Ness has died but he actually has not died and the the HP counter will be stuck between 1 and 0 glitches like those are commonplace but they don't really affect the game that much and they're kind of random so I don't know it it's kind of cool how a game 
I guess, this old, and an RPG, no less. It doesn't have that many glitches. It was very well made. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was bad, but it's actually good that I'm getting killed, because I need to get killed here, and then I can show off the glitch. All right, let's just let him attack a couple more times, and if you like if you like this episode, I already said, then comment. Uh, if you didn't like this episode, then comment. Tell me uh, the next episode so that you would like it. All that stuff. You guys know my in my outros. I'm just mainly ending off this series. And one thing I'm glad of is that I'm not drawing it out. I'm not drawing it out to a painful a painful extent. Although I'm drawing this battle out to painful extent. Um, I am ending it where I should end it. I did want to see what people have to say, but I didn't spend two episodes doing it. I didn't have to search that far to find NPCs that don't say anything new, or ones that do. And pretty much the ones that make sense to say something new are the ones that will say something new, so it's pretty cool. Um, but Okami, I drew out to some painful lengths, I, I feel. I could, probably could have ended the game a little bit sooner, but I did uh, a, a bonus episode. I did two bonus episodes, and... Uh, it, with Skyward Sword, I drew it out even further. I did three bonus episodes, two of which weren't exactly that necessary, and... Oopsie. Um, there's the mortal damage. And I'm glad that I'm ending the series where I should. Nothing left to say at all. Let's just end off the series with the glitch. You ready? I am too. Defend. Ness got hurt and collapsed. Ness lost the battle. And there we are. That's it. It's glitched. And it's really cool because this is a this is a pretty cool glitch. I believe if we were to, to defeat the Shattered Man, then we would um then the game would just freeze on us, but because I died here, if I just keep pressing L or A, it will keep confirming something, and it will be stuck in an ever, never-ending loop of death screens, which is pretty cool. It's, it's actually a pretty cool glitch, but that is going to be it for this series. Thank you so much for watching, and I have no clue how long this episode's going to be. Uh, I'm, I actually think it's going to be fairly short, so... Stay tuned for the next episode, uh, for the first episode of the next Let's Play. There are no more bonus episodes I want to make of anything, except maybe some Alpha, Beta, Omega, so just stay tuned for the next series. Now, as for when it's going to begin, I believe that it's going to begin um, in early August, simply because I'm going to camp for the last week of July, and so I want to... I, I don't want to rush things. I want to take my time, especially since I'm having a co-op partner that's not used to recording with me. So we're going to be getting used to that. Um, this Let's Play is also going to be different in that I'm resurrecting the uh, annotations videos from Okami. And I'm crossing them with some of the other practice, uh, practices that I've adopted. But also, I'm, a, I'm adopting a new practice. I am going to be pre-recording the episodes... Um, the week's episodes on the weekend, so I'm preparing for college so that I might be able to continue my Let's Playing career through college. That is my hope. But until then, this is Paladin, signing off, and I'll see you guys for the first episode of the next Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye-bye!